In this video, we are going to talk about matrix multiplication in the C programming language. So, let's start off by creating two matrices. We are going to give them 10 rows and 10 columns. And then we would need another third matrix, which we will call mul for multiplicated matrix. And we would also give it 10 rows and 10 columns. But we don't know if the user wants 10 rows and 10 columns. Therefore, we are going to ask the user for the number of rows and the number of columns for each of the matrices. And then to store the number of rows and number of columns, we are going to create two variables and we are going to call them rows and columns. And then we are going to use a scanf function to store them into the variable that we have just created. Then we are going to prompt the user to type in the elements of the first matrix. Then we are going to use a for loop and for the iterator variable we are going to start with i is equal to 0, i goes up to rows and i++. plus plus. Then in here we are going to create another for loop for columns, j is less than columns, j++. Plus plus. And lastly we are going to use the scanf function and remember to use a space before the format specifier and then we are going to store it inside the address of a and the indexes are i and j. Similarly, we can copy all of these statements, paste them once more and simply change the name of the matrix to second matrix and over here we are going to change it from a to b. So now we have taken the matrices from the user. So now we are going to multiply the matrices and we are going to store them inside the mul matrix. So we are going to again need some nested loops. So create the loop for the rows, create the loop for the columns and in here we simply want to change the value placed at i and j of the mul matrix to 0 because currently the value placed at i and j is a trash value or a rubbish value. And then we want to create another nested for loop and for this we are going to use the variable k equal to 0 so it's going to be k is less than columns k plus plus. Now we created this third loop because the way matrices are multiplied is that we take this element multiplied by this element and then we take this element multiplied by this element and add them both together and store them inside over here. So in this current example when we are putting 1, 2, 3, 4 as the elements the first element of the multiplication matrix would be 7. Similarly the next would be 10, the next would be 15 and the last would be 22. To shift to the next element of the same column in the second matrix we are using this third for loop. In this for loop, we are going to put mul indexes i and j is plus equal to matrix A indexes i and k multiplied by matrix B indexes k and j. So this is going to store the result of multiplication in this mul matrix. So now we can move on to printing the result. So to print out the result, we are simply going to copy this for loop paste it over here and then change the scanf function to printf function and we are going to simply print out mul indexes i and j and just to differentiate or to separate the elements onto the terminal we are going to use an escape sequence backslash t and in the outer loop we are simply going to use another escape sequence which is going to be backslash n to simply go on to the next line when the row ends. So now I can simply save this code and execute it and let me bring up my terminal so it is asking us for the number of rows I'm going to put 2 and for the number of columns I'm going to say 2 as well and for the elements of the first matrix it is going to be 1, 2, 3 and 4 and same goes for the elements of the second matrix. So our result is 7, 10, 15 and 22 which is indeed the result of multiplication of these two matrices. So that is how you perform matrix multiplication in the C programming language.